Last week, my Christ Church video devotion friend, Mark Carlisle, invited us, in fact, challenged us to please keep our youth in our daily prayers, especially those who are graduating. That inspired me to ask God, God, what message do you want me to share with the youth, especially the graduating seniors, and actually anyone who will hear this video and see it? And it's Mark's inspiration was to ask us to please remember our youth, not just at this time of year, but every day. Now, I want to share with you some truths that I think are important for all people to know, and especially young people, those graduating, leaving high school, possibly leaving home, and starting out on new adventures and journey in their lives. So I want to share some truths that may not be self-evident, so I need to share them from my own life experiences and my life experiences within reading God's Word, the Bible. Sometimes the best lessons I've learned in my life have been when I've been in the school of hard knocks. The first truth I want to share with you is that God is always with you and all of God's creation. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, God is never napping, sick, or on vacation. I often forget, though, that God is right here beside us, closer than our next breath, and not way up in the sky, far away from us. You and I can always count on God to be near, even when we don't feel like God is near. We've got to be careful because our feelings can be our least reliable source of information because it can be affected by all kinds of things, physical conditions, um, all kinds of things. I believe God is wanting us to realize that he's trying to communicate with us all the time and that he's offering himself to guide us through life, to be with us, beside us, to help us. Unfortunately, I think, humanly speaking, we get distracted by a lot of life's minutia, those things that really aren't that important. When we're needing help from God, all we need to do is pray, God, help me, or just plain help. And after God helps us, because I know God will help us, we do need to say thank you, God. In Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, the uh, Moses wrote this, that the Lord said, Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that goes with you. He will not fail you, nor forsake you. And then in the New Testament, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, the author of Hebrews wrote, The Lord has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. You see, you and I can always count on God to be with us, especially close to us in times of trouble, heartache, problems, and challenges. The second major truth I want to share with you is that you can always count on the Lord to fulfill all his promises. You and I may let others down. We may let God down, our family, our friends, and even ourselves we may fail to keep the promises we make, but the Lord is always faithful. He keeps all of his promises. You can read them in his holy word, the Bible. There was a Canadian school teacher named Everett R. Storms, and he counted 7,487 promises made by God to humanity in the Bible. The two greatest promises of God to us are summed up in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, that says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And in the New Testament, we read that all God's promises are yes 
in Jesus Christ. Third major truth, when you are looking for peace of mind and peace in your relationships with others, the only one who can bring you peace is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. There's no one person and nothing on earth that can give you peace except God through Jesus Christ. Blaise Pascal was a French mathematician, physicist, philosopher, and Catholic writer who lived in the 1600s, passed away, unfortunately, uh, at age 39. But he wrote these words of wisdom. There is a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every man which cannot be satisfied by any created thing, but only by God the Creator, made known through Jesus Christ. You see, friend, nothing here on earth can completely and always provide anyone with a lasting peace except God, who made each of us and knows us better than we know ourselves. In the New Testament, in Paul's letter to the Christians at Philippi, chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, Paul wrote this, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand or imagine. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Fourth truth, when you are wondering what your purpose is here on earth, it's the Lord who can give your life purpose. Since God made each of us uniquely different with a variety of spiritual gifts and natural abilities that no one else possesses. Each of us is here for a limited amount of time, born with a specific family, in a specific geographical location, living among a specific people with a specific history. In the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew wrote Jesus' words, when Jesus was asked by a man, what's the greatest commandment? And Jesus said this, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Friends, if we talk with God and then listen for God's answers, that's crucial. You and I can be blessings to those around us and help be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ to those around us who have so many needs. God blesses us so that you and I can be blessings in the name of Jesus Christ to our neighbors, whether next door or far away. The fifth major truth, the Lord gives us power to live life to the fullest. One of my favorite verses is Paul's letter to his son in the ministry, to Timothy, the second letter, chapter 1 verse 7 where Paul wrote this God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and or rather of love and power and a sound mind you and I do not possess a power apart from God none of us is strong enough physically mentally spiritually or emotionally to be strong in all the demands that are on our lives God wants us to be in a forgiven, loving relationship with God and with others in our lives. For now, our earthly life, and then forever in our eternal lives. In Paul's letter to the Christians at Ephesus, chapter 1, verse 19, Paul wrote this, I pray that you will begin to understand how incredibly great God's power is to help those who believe him. My hope and prayer is that my sharing with you these key truths about God's love, grace, and power as revealed in the life, death, and resurrection of his son, Jesus Christ, that this sharing may empower you, encourage you, give you the only true hope that's in this life and in the next one. May you always call on the name of the Lord in all circumstances in your life. The best advice I can give you 
is to remember that children's song, Jesus Loves Me. Remind yourself of this core life truth. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so.